Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a new KSI video. I hope you're doing fantastic. If you're brand new, be sure you subscribe, drop a like, bit, and let's see what KSI says today. He said Jake Boy is scared, I reckon. And look how the tables have turned. Jake Paul, the man that considers himself the best influencer boxer in the world. Actually, I reckon I will be the best. But we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Has already had enough of fighting boxes. For those of you that don't know, Jake Paul fought Tommy Fury in February. He got absolutely destroyed. Claimed the reason why he lost was because he had a wet dream. I know, I know you didn't want. Wait, what? Did you... Wait, is that? Whoa, 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 whoa. What? This nigga is serious, bro. My hey. mom said, she said, Jake had a wet dream the night before his fight. And now has gone back to fighting MMA. Ah, uh, she said this nigga was holding his neck. He's trying to hold it for like, okay, how long? For eight, 12 weeks? That's good. That's why the, that's why the, that's why the old school boxers did, man. They're holding on to the sexual, sexual streak, man, sexual energy. Fighting. I like yes, that one. No fab, no nut. So they can be more stronger, more hungry, you know what I'm saying? So that's All it. All is fighting Nate. Diaz this August. Nate. That's still a dangerous opponent. Nate Diaz is still a very good opponent. I reckon he's like around the same level as Tommy Fury because he's been, he's only like 36, 37 and he's been fighting for a long time in the combat. And he has a win over Conor McGregor too. So. Yeah, he's a man that has had most of his fights at lightweight. So that's about 155 pounds. I mean, I guess he's had some fights at welterweight, which is about 170 pounds. But with a record of three wins and three losses at welterweight, it's not great. Now keep in mind, in August, Jake Paul is going to be fighting Nate Diaz, 185 pounds. Nate has never fought at 185 pounds. Whereas Jake... Oh yeah, the most he's ever fought is 170, right? So that's seven. It's just like, that's 15 pounds, bro, you know what I'm saying? That's not much, man. That's only like seven kilos. That's like a stone, you know? That's several times. A stone so already, stones. that's in Jake's favor. Now, let's be real. Nate Diaz isn't really known for his striking. Even in four-ounce gloves, rarely. Oh, yeah. He got the win over Conor McGregor for the tap-out win. Knocks anyone out cold. In fact, most of his wins are via submission. You know why? Because that's what he's good at. He has a black belt. In jiu-jitsu, 12 of his 21 wins in MMA is via submission. That's over half. That's... That's like knockout, but... Yeah, but you can't do that in boxing. You can't... That's not a coincidence. That's just because he's very good at jiu-jitsu. You know what he's not very good at? Boxing. Nate Diaz is a 37-year... Nah, he's alright, bro. I wouldn't say he's bad. old black belt jiu I wouldn't say he's terrible, bro. He's okay, you know what I'm saying? Compared MMA to MMA fighter. People. That happens to throw a punch... Every now and then. And for me, ladies and gentlemen, that is the problem with Jake Paul. He's a fraud. And people need to wake up to this fact. He can't beat boxing. That's why he's staying clear from me, so Pappy. Maybe he just needs more time, you know what I'm saying? Because he's only been doing it for a couple of years. Joe Fournier, etc. Because he knows, ultimately, he's not that good. Now, chances are, Jake Paul will beat Nate Diaz. Either through decision or by a knockout or technical knockout. And that's mainly because Nate Diaz won't be able to use his ultimate weapon, his best weapon, jiu-jitsu. Instead, he's going to have to rely on his sub- Wrestling. Par boxing ability against Jake Paul. Who, let me remind you, only does boxing. And this is the sh- Wait, Jake has said he wants to go MMA too, bro. Right? Same bullshit that we're going to get with the whole Ben Askren situation. You know how many people believe that Ben Askren was going to beat Jake Paul. Quite a lot of people. Hell, even I thought Jake Paul was going to lose. But this time, nah, I ain't falling for this shit again. We know what we know now. Wait, so, okay, that means then I'm, I'm going to go on the betting app and start betting now because the odds are going to be like... Oh, it's crazy to think that <laughs> you know we ever saying? thought that Ben had a chance. I mean, look at how Jake Paul celebrated after beating Ben Askren. Ben Askren doesn't even know how to punch and he's celebrating like he's just won the World Cup. It's all just cringe. <laughs> just like his <laughs> That's true, right? That's celebration. That's too much. And they just <laughs> eat all his shit that he eats <laughs> out of his mouth daily. May 13th or next month, I'm going to be fighting Joe Fournier. He is a boxer. A 9 and 0. Pro box. Ooh, 9 and 0, 9 KO. Wow. That's all he does. 
No MMA, no wrestling, no jujitsu, no kickboxing, no judo, no karate, just pure boxing. And I'm training harder than I've ever trained in my life. And ladies wow. and gentlemen, you and you're in your prime too. We'll That's see good. what I will do to him May 13th. So if you want to check it out live, tickets down below. Deji is also fighting as well as Salt Pappy and other fighters. Wow, Deji Spoons. That's a good one too. I'm excited for that. It's going to be a sick on the card. It's going to be a sick event. You should definitely check it out. Tickets down below. If you've been to a Misfits event. I wonder, is it going to be a pro? Is it, or is it going to be professional? Or is it going to be like one of those? Um, for, you know how amazing the these events are so i'm sure to see you guys soon anyway i want to knock out joe Fournier. i want to make a state i want to strike even more fear into jake paul and now let's not get it twisted jake paul has been boxing way longer than i have while he was fighting gib nate robinson ben askren woodley twice I was at Wembley Stadium singing Holiday. I was recording weekly videos with the side. I was making YouTube content on my channel. I was going on press runs, promoting my music. I was going on tours, etc. So the fact that I've already overtaken Jake Paul in boxing ability in less than a year, it says a lot, ultimately. Shit, bro, this nigga's accomplishing a lot in like a very short amount of period, bro, in like 12 months. Look how much he's accomplishing, bro. Like making, oh my God, that's amazing, man. You know what I'm saying? That's just inspiring. I like that, bro. Jake Paul is scared of me. And if we never Subscribe manage to make this fight life. happen, I want you to know this, Jake. You will forever be known as the man that claimed to want to avenge his brother's loss, but ultimately was too scared, was too pussy to actually go through it. So anyway, enjoy your fight with another MMA fighter, Jake. When you're actually ready to man up and end this feud with your boy, KSI, I'll be here waiting. Ready. It's been your boy, KSI. I'll see you lot in a bit. Take care and peace. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen. Shit, bro. Are you serious? Nigga yeah, ain't playing around, bro. I really hope you did enjoy, boys. Be sure you subscribe to the like. I'll catch you on the next video. And I'm out, baby. Peace.